This is a Zercher table squat with our heels elevated. So I've got some ramps here. Ideally something that we can get our entire foot flat on is what we're looking for. Then I'm gonna have my cable set up at the lowest setting possible with an attachment. Now I'm using a straight bar here. You can also use a bar that has a slight camber or a curve. The point being is that that object or bar is gonna sit in the crevice of our elbows. You can also use a strap or something like that that's um, attached to your cable system. So I'm gonna set up here, grab a hold of my bar, step back. In this position here, I'm heavy on my heels, about a 70-30 split, but I don't lose contact with the base of my big toe and pinky, but I wanna stay heavy through the heels the whole time. I'm gonna allow that cable machine to pull those elbows forward a little bit, to retract the scapula without losing height in my skeleton though. So I'm keeping my sternum pointing straight ahead throughout that reach. From here, this is a squat. So I'm gonna lead with my knees, inhale on the way down as the knees go forward. Exhale as I come up. Make sure to push through the heels as you come up. Notice too that my pelvis stays level the whole time. So if my pelvis was a bowl of water, I'm not dumping it forward or excessively tucking under. And I'm keeping that stacked pelvis position throughout the movement here. Common mistakes that I see with this drill is people will either make it more into a hinge where they go butt back, second piece, is that they will allow the trunk to kind of fold forward and lose that height in your skeleton. So we wanna still stay nice and upright in this position as we do our squat. 